Love is a choice. It's an instinct to put others ahead of yourself, the constant reminder to show up. Love is the sound that you want as the last thing that you say as you walk out the door and the last thing you say when you fall asleep at night. Love is the thing that we cannot live without. Lit a fire to warm the world. It wasn't very long after I met you and got to know you that I realized that you were the one for me. You are my best friend, my confidant, and my forever love. I commit my life to you through all the good times and hard times, all the sorrows and victories, and all the experiences of life. I vow to love you, encourage you, trust you, and respect you. I knew I was in love with you when you blew me off one afternoon. <laughs> oh no, I blew you off one afternoon, sorry. <laughs> but you showed up at my door anyways with a smile. I was confused and honestly a little bit annoyed. <laughs> But you politely told me that I was entitled to my me day and said you were not here to see me, but you were here to see the boys. And then in that moment, I knew you weren't just a good fit for me, but you were a good fit for us. So here is a little something for you to remember how we got to where we are today. That was from the very beginning out of baseball. Can't wait to have more of these stairs with you. This one we bought our house. Yeah. That was a really good. Yeah. yeah. So this is my husband who's not sensitive. <laughs> I promise to work with you to further and cherish our relationship knowing that together we will build a life far better than either of us can imagine. Today and every day I choose you to be my wife. I accept you and all that you are, and I offer myself and all that I am in return. I will love you unconditionally and without hesitation. Today I give you my hand and my heart as a sanctuary of warmth and peace. Today I pledge my love, devotion, faith, and honor as we join our hearts, our family, and our lives together as one. I could give you all Please rise for the entrance of our bride. by the power vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, amen. Rodney, you may kiss your bride. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is truly my honor and pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Rodney and Ray Graff.
Lucy, Ray's younger sister. Um, okay, I'm already starting to get emotional. You've been a wonderful sister to me. You've been a devoted and loving friend to so many people. You have two beautiful sons and a grandson who are incredible. Um, all of the people here tonight and that were at the ceremony today are a testament to the love that you've put into this world and it's all returning back to you. As long as I've known her my whole life, she's always returned to love. She grows in love and gives it out like sunshine for the people who honor the love that she has to give. So to Ray and Rodney Kreth, I love you both. I love your love and thank you and cheers. I've known Rodney for almost 20 years. We've been through everything. When he finally met Ray, everything changed. He was happy, different person, and I hope that continues with them forever. Second cheers. Yay! And I'm not done. So then, we get an invitation to a wedding. Rodney and I go golfing. We don't say a word about the wedding. Not a single word, meaning I don't know if I'm in the wedding. Tuesday of this week, Rodney confirms that I'm the best man. So here's my speech. This is all I could come up with in the three days that I had left. So with that, love of the death, cheers. Cheers.